most of your brain cells are created before you're born or in the first few weeks after birth. However, humans and other mammals are known to generate new brain cells or neurons throughout life. You generate new neurons in one area of the brain, the dentate gyrus of the hippocampal formation. This is a layered structure of densely packed neurons at the center of your brain. It's critical for forming new memories. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm going to talk about how new neurons are born in a process known as adult hippocampal neurogenesis. This phenomenon has been seen in almost every mammal studied from cats, rats, mice, marmosets, monkeys, tree shrews, and humans. There is still much we don't know about this process in our species as studying the human brain is much more difficult. The hippocampal formation, we'll just refer to it as hippocampus for the sake of brevity, consists of paired arc-shaped structures lining the innermost aspects of the temporal lobes. This region of densely packed neurons is, is very important for encoding new memories. You can find your right and left hippocampi by going directly inward towards the center of your brain from your right or left ear, respectively. The hippocampus is a late developing structure in the brain that's similar among all mammals. Many of the neurons in your hippocampus are generated in the first few weeks after birth. In addition, there are small populations of neural stem cells lying dormant in the dentate gyrus of the hippocampus. These are the stem cells that can divide throughout your life, creating new neurons that can grow into mature granule cells of the hippocampus and eventually incorporate into the circuitry of your brain. The rate of neurogenesis increases with aerobic exercise, such as running. In addition, newly born neurons are more likely to survive the first two weeks of their life if you stimulate your brain by learning a difficult task during this critical period. Even so, at least half of these new neurons die by programmed cell death or apoptosis just days after they're born. The birth and death of granule cells balances out over time, so the number of neurons in the hippocampus remains relatively stable. So how does the process of adult neurogenesis occur exactly? The hippocampal formation of your brain is made of different layers of neurons folded onto each other. One of these layers is the dentate gyrus, which itself has three layers known as the hilus, the granule layer, and the molecular layer. New neurons are born in the granule layer. Over the next several days, they grow new axons which extend into the hilus. They also sprout dendrites which reach up into the molecular layer. It takes about two months for a newly born neuron to mature into an adult granule cell. The population of neural stem cells lying dormant in the granule layer of the dentate gyrus may be triggered to divide by certain experiences such as learning new things or by running. Once it receives a proper signal, a neural stem cell divides asymmetrically. Some cells break off and migrate further into the granule zone of the dentate gyrus. Over the next several days, the immature neuron sprouts new dendrites that extend into the molecular layer. The young granule neuron also generates an axon four to 10 days after birth that extends into the CA3 region of the hippocampus. So essentially, the newborn neuron is growing roots or dendrites to receive stimulation from other neurons 
And it's also spreading branches or axons, which will transmit signals to other neurons. Once it has formed connections with mature neurons in the dentate gyrus and in other parts of the hippocampal formation, it becomes hyperexcited and starts sending out many signals to other neurons. In about six to seven weeks, interneurons in the hilar layer of the dentate gyrus send signals to the young neuron to reduce its signaling activity. At this point, the new neuron calms down and it's no longer hyperexcitable. At two months, the new granule neuron at the hippocampus is fully mature. It can now integrate into the circuitry of your brain and affect the way your brain functions. There is a lot we still don't know about adult hippocampal neurogenesis. For example, how do adult granule neurons even make a difference? We have millions of granule cells in our hippocampus. A very small proportion of these are born every day throughout your life. It does seem that these new granule neurons are more active and hyperexcitable than mature neurons of the same type. In general, neurons sending more signals are more likely to influence brain activity. This could explain how these new neurons born in adulthood can change your brain. Structurally, adult-born neurons grow more quickly and are able to generate new axons to send signals to other neurons within just four to 10 days after they're born. Another open question is the function of these new neurons. We know that the hippocampal formation is important for forming new memories, for mood regulation, and for performing tasks that require spatial intelligence. The dentate gyrus specifically is important for the task of pattern separation or finding the difference between two very similar pictures, for example. It could be that these new hippocampal neurons improve our memory as we age and promote cognitive flexibility. After all, the hippocampus is often the first brain region affected in aging and in diseases such as Alzheimer's dementia and epilepsy. So what can you do to increase the rate of adult hippocampal neurogenesis in your brain? Numerous studies have shown that running promotes the generation of new brain cells throughout life. The amount of exercise also matters. Approximately 30 minutes of running three times a week for at least three months seems to be a threshold amount to increase adult neurogenesis. We will talk more about how running helps generate new adult brain cells in the next talk. Thank you for listening. I hope that this is helpful for you.